There has been an uprising this week over cows farting. Shocking at first glance, but what is it all about? Well, it's about the drive to net zero and some people considering cows being the arch enemy of that because they fart and burp lots and emit methane. Allegedly the biggest second gas contributor to global warming after carbon dioxide. But not, let's not get diverted by the whole net zero argument. I could say lots about that and why farmers are doing what they are to their cows and should people be concerned. Let's start with a very broad summary of what the fuss is actually about. So this week it became obvious, came to light, that Arla, who are the largest supplier of fresh milk and cream in the United Kingdom, they produce 2.2 billion litres of milk a year. Well, they're adding a chemical to cow's feed to reduce the cow's carbon footprint. The food additive called Bove is being trialled at farms in cooperation with the supermarkets that they supply, Tesco, Morrisons, Aldi. The theory behind Bove is that medicating cow feed to reduce the amount of farting that cows do, and they do a lot, will reduce methane production from cows by about 27%. Bear in mind, this is a totally natural thing. For the sake of argument, let's assume that cow methane is actually a problem. I don't think it is. And that this is a solution. So what's the problem? Well, from a health perspective, the problem is that we just don't know what the problem might be in the future. And the concern centres around the fact that we are being experimented on, because that's what it is, without consent. It seems that once again, the issue of informed consent has been discarded. A trial, by very definition, is an experiment to see if there are any problems that need ironing out, to see if there are any fatal problems. Surely we should ask people if they want to take part. So what are people worried about? Bovair is a medication whose active ingredient is silicon dioxide, propylene glycol and organic compound nitrooxypropanolol, known as NOP3. And it's claimed that this additive has no side effects on cows or people eating them or consuming milk. But the Food Standards Agency last year found that 3-NOP should be considered corrosive to the eyes, a skin irritant and potentially harmful if inhaled. Now this is to humans. Couple this with any potential excretion in the milk that we drink and ingest or the meat that we eat from cows. People are worried, understandably. And having seen the proponents of this intervention state that studies, studies show that it's not harmful and the meat or the milk isn't a problem, one begins to wonder. The other thing which has upset people is that Bill Gates has recently made a massive investment into a research development company who are bringing an almost identical product to the market. Marry this with the fact that Bill Gates now owns 250,000 acres of farmland in the USA, which makes him the largest private farmland owner. It isn't a massive jump to envisage a situation where there are no alternatives than buying products from cows and maybe other animals medicated in this way. So I guess it all comes down to freedom of choice again and informed consent. We need to know when they are doing things like this to our food that directly affects us because we put that food into our bodies and we need to be able to opt in or opt out. There should be well publicised, non-biased information whenever a controversial ingredient is added to a food staple and clear guidance on how to avoid it if that's what we want to do. And milk is a staple. This is no different to a medication. Information on the pros and the cons of that medication, your open consent if you want to take it and the ability to opt out if you don't should actually be done. So how can you opt out of this one? It's tricky. I've got a few ideas. In terms of the dairy products, there are already some companies who've announced that their products, which come from cows, will not have Bovair in the cow's feed, and they've guaranteed it. Some suppliers have made statements to reassure consumers that none of their cows will be fed Bovair, and these include Yo Valley, Go Yo Valley, Hook and Sons Farms, Plurindum Farm. Now that was a quick search, there will be others. So we can extend this to the meat that we eat as well. So the message is simple, look for local suppliers, Ask them the question directly. If it isn't clear, 
then ask again. And once you're happy, support that business. So let's support our smaller farms, our smaller uh, makers of products that come from cows, dairy products, milk products, um, meat, anything like that. And let's support those people. Let's, let's talk by walking, walking away from this controlled experiment that we have no opportunity to resist unless we walk away. I'm going to walk. Come join me.